I puck my time and my money on holistic doctors. My friend Tiffany recommended this doctor from Harlem. Her name's Dr. Courtney Witherspoon. <laughs> Tiffany described her as being this, you know, 60-year-old woman with the skin of a 20-year-old. And I kept imagining Angela Bassett, you know, with a white pressed linen doctor's lab coat coming up to the door. And instead it was an overweight woman with a bad weave, mascara smeared down her face, and a pink tracksuit with stains all over the front. <laughs> and she couldn't even remember my name. She'd call me you. She's like, you. <laughs> You, speak into this machine, and it's gonna diagnose what's wrong with your individual organs based on the pitch and the tone of your voice. <laughs> Everything inside of me told me to run. <laughs> but instead, I wrote her a check for $250. <laughs> and then there was Maria, Maria was from Spain. And uh, Maria, I actually had to take off a week from work, fly to California, rent a car, drive all the way out into the desert. And who answers the door but this 90-year-old, 70-pound, feeble woman. And the way she diagnosed what was wrong with you was she would say the word of a food and then press down on your arm to see how much resistance you had to that food. <laughs> and then she'd say, okay, you're allergic to it. Now, of course, she could barely lift up her own arms, right, let alone press down on mine. So after like two hours of this, she's like, Kelly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. This is all in your head. <laughs> so I picked her up and I threw her out the window. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I wrote her a check for $350. <laughs> so then I was like, you know, this is it, I'm done. I'm gonna spend my money on what I wanna do. I need to relax, I wanna have a good time. So I went on a yoga retreat on a remote peninsula in Costa Rica. And the second day I'm there, there's a huge earthquake, the biggest earthquake they've had in 120 years. <laughs> and then the whole land is like reverberating with aftershocks for the whole week that I'm there. And I'm, I'm like, I start smoking, I start drinking. I come home for a whole month, I couldn't crap. <laughs> So I go see Olia, a Russian nutritionist that my friend Irene recommended. And I'm like, Olia, what's wrong with me? I'm eating whole grains, fruits, vegetables, I'm meditating. And she's like, no wonder you feel like crap. She's like, you have to eat right for the blood type, huh? This means you eat lots of red meat and you have vigorous exercise. So every day for a week I have a hamburger and I do kickboxing. And I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm sweating and my heart starts palpitating. I'm thinking the world is just gonna crumble down around me. And I'm so afraid that I crap my pants. <laughs> now that was $400 well spent. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just like, you know, I'm tired of going and paying all this money. I'm like, that's it. I just need to, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna consult those closest to me, you know, for advice. And for example, the homeless man on 8th Avenue. Every day I walk by, he compliments me in my outfits. And he's always like, mm, 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 looking lovely today. And this one day I walk past and I have a new hat and it was $500. And he's like, mm, 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 looking ugly today. <laughs> and so I gave it to him because I didn't have my checkbook on me. I mean, do homeless people even take checks? And I call up my mom, you know, I was like, mom, I was really depressed. And I'm like, mom, I'm very lonely. I don't, I don't see any future for myself. I keep getting the wrong advice from all the wrong people. And my mom's like, I keep telling you to move home. Smokey Bones is hiring. <laughs> so I go back to my analyst, and my analyst is like, Kelly, you come from a very, very, very dysfunctional family. And I'm like, isn't one very enough? <laughs> and she just looks at me, and I start laughing. And she's like, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? It's not funny. <laughs> I think it's sad. And I was like, do you want to know what's sad? Do you want to know what's sad? I'm about to write you a check for $150. <laughs> Thank you very much.